minute, quick. He's over here. The little asshole's just out of reach. Stacy, he's up on the fence and he's taunting us. Today, that little mofo goes down. I, 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 I don't even want to hear it. You guys need to leave that squirrel alone. Let him eat his snack in peace. You're supposed to be on our side. You guys do know that when the squirrel is up on the fence, you guys have no chance of getting him, correct? That's a matter of opinion. Is she making a valid attempt to diss our height? Besides, what are you guys going to do if you catch that squirrel? Bite him. Yeah, bite him. Okay, now, what if he happens to bite you? If he bites you, you guys are getting a trip to the veterinarian. We're already vaccinated. Because we're gonna have to have you checked out and you might have to get shots. What? Because he could have some disease, like rabies or something. So you know wild animals have rabies. And then you guys are like, go crazy. Remember Cujo? Man, I love me some Stephen King. That's what we're talking about. Crazy rabid dogs. And I'm not gonna have crazy rabid corgis around here. But you call us crazy all the time. My friend Lise, she lives in Burbank and she had squirrels in her yard and they were feeding them. And one came up and bit her. Bit her where? On the finger. And then we were all like worried, like was she gonna have to go and get like rabies shots? Was the squirrel okay? Still don't understand the dilemma of the issue here. Because if you get bit by a squirrel, you become a squirrel zombie. Zombie squirrel syndrome. There is no such thing as zombie squirrel syndrome. Uh-huh, I've seen it. Where have you seen zombie squirrel syndrome? On TV, there's lots of people and animals, zombies, chaos everywhere. Okay, that's The Walking Dead and it's a TV show. Well, they have the best and the worst when it comes to zombies. We don't have zombies. It's a fictitious show. Your friend Lise is now a zombie walking around Burbank. She is not walking around Burbank like a zombie. Trust me, she's fine. How can you be sure? I would know I work with her. Besides, zombies run around screaming about wanting to eat brains. So if it's zombie squirrel syndrome, what would you eat? Nuts. Nuts and you just scared every male in the world. If you're enjoying Stacy and the Corgis, then click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Don't miss one video. And hit the like button and leave us a comment. We love hearing from you.